What's up and good morning guys welcome back to another video today we're rolling in pops f450 and as you guys can see uh, You know, he's pretty much babying this thing just like I would he's even got towels on the floor Which is probably not a great idea, but I think you got plenty of room behind the brake pedal before everybody freaks out now That being said this thing is uh, absolutely filthy You can kind of see there on the window and I think pops is used to being up high in the Kodiak because this seat is like seriously like my head is almost touching right now I don't know why he's got it so high also really appreciate the platinum stereo system on this thing for him to listen to the old uh, a radio I have to say guys the more I drive this truck the more and more I want one I know my original plan was to get an f-450 but I'm gonna wait till the 2021 interiors come out just to see exactly what they're looking like because as you know um, I do think this interior is a little dated for the year of the truck so one of the many things we're gonna be doing today is uh, getting that all washed up for pops because we can't just I mean look at this look at this filthy truck it like we can't have him rolled around like that I will say though he has been good I told him uh, you know let us handle all the washes on it that way it doesn't ended up getting all scratched up and looking like crap don't take it to a car wash now we've also got something in the shop that you guys are going to want to see uh bryant showed up with this yesterday and i we're still not sure what he's thinking with it but yeah just wait and i'm also not sure where chris went he was with me a minute ago <laughs> smells like some leaking fuel in here so bryant showed up yesterday unannounced none of us had any idea he was doing this but this is uh this is what the old guy showed up with now if you remember bryant on the day that chris got his brand new 110 here Literally, Brian jumps on it, rides about 30 feet, and smashes into something. And you can see all the scratches on the number plate there. Broke off the ignition, which is currently uh, zip tied on. Also, you know, work for apparel key tags work great on your bikes. And of course, you know, I put the bandit on there to fix Chris's bike. Brian claims he's a very qualified rider, but after what I saw on that, I'm not really sure this is a good idea. I'm gonna cut to a clip of when he showed up with this thing yesterday and what we had to go through to get it to even look like it does right now, because uh, this looks a million times better than it did when he showed up. So you uh, wreck Chris's bike and you think you're gonna redeem yourself on this turd. Yeah, Chris can have first try. <laughs> With that the throttle doesn't even really work on it just sticks full throttle yeah i didn't say the condition i just said he can have first ride all right hop on y'all this is yeah <laughs> why'd you scoot forward <laughs> yeah that's a, that's assuming the throttle works there but oh, oh there you go oh yep it only takes like hey, it's 90 pounds of twist to turn that thing we need the battery tender battery i don't know we'll just jump start it Oh, this is all you, Chris. I think this uh, six tube's got enough power. It's offer up uh, deal of the. Fucking... Yeah, he's trying to keep up with you on offer up deals, dude. I don't, I don't know if this is the one. Dude, we had it. There was power when. Uh... <laughs> when you bought it. Yeah, we had it on the little battery tender. Got a dangler, dangler. Did you choke it? Yes. She doesn't even sound like she wants to kick over. Yeah, I think they sprayed a bunch of car cleaner in there, buddy, to get it to fire up for you. We'll spray it in the car, wherever that is. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. What are you gonna, the Hell's Angels or Mongols? What are you gonna join? Probably the Hell's Angels. All right, I, I respect it. And speaking of weird random crap that showed up at the shop yesterday, uh, check this booger out. Now I gotta say, I've always wanted a tow truck. Um, and you guys know, I love the uh, old school Ford. Not a big fan of this body style per se, but you know, tell me this thing ain't a butte. This is a genuine eagle fiberglass flatbed. It just doesn't get any nicer. We got genuine Gojax, which is actually something I've like always wanted to own. Don't worry, locked on. Ain't nobody gonna steal those. And of course you gotta lock the Pittsburgh Jack on there as well. But check this part out. Like I've never actually seen one of these. I didn't really ever think this was a thing. Oh, and by the way, while we're in the interior, um, this is like a genuine marine sleeping bag here that was used as a headliner. And it smells just like it looks. Let's pop the hood. So under the hood, it actually has a brand new hydraulic pump. And this is used to run basically all of the equipment on the back to make it a tow truck. I've never seen one of these like belt driven hydraulic pumps. It's actually pretty rad. And I imagine this is not a cheap piece to add to these trucks. I also doubt it was uh, easy to run these big old hydraulic hoses through the engine bay out to the back. Oh, and I hear Chris here. I got a little story 
uh, uh, uh. I don't know, as old and like, I don't know, old as it is, like there's something really, really cool and retro about this rig. Obviously that flatbed was just recently put on, hence why the hydraulic pump is still brand new. It's got all of the hydraulic controls in the back here. Ugh, there's your whole control box there for the Zack lift. Dang, I didn't know Zack built his own lifts. Do not use fold switch. Kind of want to play with it. What's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. Showing everybody our new toy. Well, our new business that we're starting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Washing this thing too. We should. Yeah, this thing is pretty filthy. Should we see if it'll pick the truck up? You want to try it? Yeah. Really? I've never run a tow truck. I don't know. Yeah. This is actually not my tow truck. Um, we're just storing it here, but. You know, hopefully everybody at this point knows if you're gonna store something here, we're gonna play with it. So we're not actually even sure that it works. <laughs> hopefully everything is hooked up here. There's only one way to find out. Oh yeah, nice and stinky in here. Got all kinds of, all kinds of switches. All right, we're off to a good start. All right, all right, you know, listen, she's old, she's old. Couple pumps of the old throttle here. All right, she, she wants to go. She wants to go, Chris. Oh, yeah. You hear that? And of course, obviously, uh, she is not a diesel. If I'm reading that correctly, or is that tenths of miles? Maybe that's tenths of miles. Possibly 570,000 miles on it. I'm gonna try to not take out the fiberglass sides here. But it's got power windows, dude. Like... Hey, man, you look good in there. All right, hopefully I don't break anything. Let's see what happens when we turn the pump on. Let's see if it makes any of this active. Lift, fold. Oh, dang! Yeah! I heard that guy on that GMC is a deadbeat, didn't make his payment. We're gonna repo it. I don't know what Extend does, but we're just gonna go steal this truck. There Should I ask the owner to scoot it this way? Yeah, ask more? the owner to get it away from that wall right there. Yeah, that'd be great. Maybe he'll surrender the keys and I don't even have to embarrass myself trying to be a tow truck operator. I don't even know the position of my little a little hooky thingies. We gotta go a little bit lower, a little bit lower. Hey, maybe we can get the owner to just like pull it up on for us, you know? All right, so I think these thing is just free move up underneath the wheels. When you drive in, it goes like, click clack, click clack, I think. You have any lights on? <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> Civics. Maybe we need a Civic. Where's, keep, where's Brian? We didn't think this far ahead. Huh? This is my first time being out. I mean, keep on going back. Maybe. All right, yeah, maybe it. it'll work. Maybe or damage your wheels. Uh, we met. We missed the tire. <laughs> no wonder it's hard to tow lifted trucks. All right, so I just start lifting. Maybe like it'll go off the oil pan and we'll pick it up. Oh, It'd be perfect. Oh, no. no? Does anybody got a small car in the parking lot we can just go steal right now? Well, that truck, dude. We could pick up a Ranger. Or maybe a minivan. All right, well, I guess that killed our tow truck's dreams until we ugh, could find a smaller vehicle to play with today. I feel like I got fleas now. This thing's rad, though. I actually kind of like it. I wouldn't mind owning one. This hook on the back is massive, though. Good Lord. I might have raised it a little too high. It's all right. We'll lower it down in a minute. I like the short bed bobness of it though on the dually. I think that's a cool look. Dang man, I'm sad. I thought we were gonna be like tow truck operators and stuff. And Wait, we could try the golf cart. Now you think of that. We could try the golf cart. The golf cart runs now. So while we wait for Brian to show up and Dedek to show up and hopefully somebody to bring us a smaller car that we can actually like play with that tow truck with. We'll get the old 450 here nice and cleaned up. Now I gotta say, being that this truck isn't even ceramic coated, um, and it's really only been washed once since, uh, well I guess twice, but Nick's done it professionally once, but you can see it actually beads up really well, and all that dirt and dust that you see on there comes off very easily. 
considering this thing hasn't been washed in months and it's been baking in the sun every day it doesn't live inside like that's pretty impressive i don't remember exactly what nick used i know it was like a spray detailer that might have had like a little ceramic in it but for not being ceramic coated i'm impressed <laughs> Now this right here, in my opinion, is the absolute perfect consistency of foam for your foam cannon. You can see how it's not dripping down. If you look over here where there's a little more water in it as I started to run out, you can see how the foam just starts to work its way down, which is not a bad thing. I mean, a lot of times we'll actually foam cannon the truck, let the foam just bead off like that, and then come back and spray it off and never actually put a towel on it, depending on if we're doing like a quick maintenance rinse or something like that. But so if you're like us and you have bigger trucks, what I like to do is I actually do a truck in sections because if you just spray the entire truck all the way around, unless you're gonna run around the truck and try and hit everything real quick instead of being careful. Like I like to be, by the time you get to another panel of the truck, all the foam's already washed off. And there goes your lubricant for actually wiping with the towel. I seem to have gotten the consistency absolutely perfect today to where none of this stuff's falling off and it still provides plenty of thick foam there. So the 450's all nice and clean. We're gonna let it dry here and then Chris just like... You're telling me I didn't even spend all that money ordering exhaust? I could've just done that? Dude, that's the Great. look, bro. Alright, see how long it stays on there. Let's go see a wheelie. Alright, you're good. Alright, didn't, didn't last as long as we thought. Alright guys, I think I found the perfect candidate to tow with the tow truck. Well, boom! I think we can get the claw of that booger up underneath the Lexus here and not rip off the front end of Dedek's car. We're gonna find out. Don't tell Dedek. He's over there in the shop somewhere. Let's do this repo style, fast. Down a hand though from my camera. I gotta return this to the, the finance company. I think we're gonna clear. I think. There's only one way to find out. Wait! Wait, I'm gonna get the other tow truck. What, it's too high? Oh, this looks good. Daddy won't mind. Finding out today, I'm not, I'm not the greatest tow truck operator yet. Oh, okay, you tell me. Why, why is this thing not like, I thought this was supposed First to like all, hit the wheel and then it like hooks around. Oh, we need to use what? You don't need to use the go jacks. This? Maybe. Right oh, maybe we need the wheels. We need the wheels. We got to build the little thingy, thingy on the back. See, like this side looks fine, but like, yeah, how do you lift without totally jacking everything up underneath? We call someone? <laughs> Should we call triple A? Yeah, we'll call triple A. Hey, you, you don't need the oil pan, right? You haven't made the payments about five months. Now listen. We're towing your shit, but we just don't know how we're going to tow it. Yeah, listen. It, it ain't us. It's the finance company that called us here. So, you know, you got the buy here, pay yeah. here, and you didn't make your payment. Sure. Yeah, let me uh, let me call my bank up real quick. No, I don't trust him. He's going to try and take the car. Yeah. Hold on. Chris, get in the car. Lock yourself in there. I've seen this episode. What are you guys doing? We're trying to tow your car. And? We don't really know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> now, I assure you there's clearance. I know it doesn't look like there's clearance. Oh, well, it's got outside controls too? Yeah. I wouldn't, uh, so boom up. Careful. <laughs> Don't rip your front end off. Oh. Not responsible for your oil pan if you're on the controls. Fact. Dude, you're gonna like, you realize you got that much of clearance up under there. Yeah. If I hit anything, turn the camera off. <laughs> oh, let me pull my phone out real quick. I'm dragging this to the finance company. I don't care if you left it in here. 
the character, am I, but am I good rebuilding? no, you're good. It's just right. let's not fuck up my car that I'm actually making payments on. If you made your payment, I wouldn't be here. Just hurry up, back up. Yeah, they're going. We're there. Oh, bro, we're good. We're there. Get out of here! Oh, no, 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 keep coming back. I want to make sure we're all in that. This is the first repo I've ever been on where the customer helps us hook his car up. Oh, hey, that's my job, guy. And he helps you out. No, he's doing my job now. Excuse me, sir, you're not on the company insurance. Hey! Woo! <laughs> it works! Oh, 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 Let's get out of here! Is it in here? Yeah, it's in part. Put it in neutral, sir. <laughs> I don't know how you feel about this. <laughs> I feel like this thing already wants to do a wheelie with just your car on the back. <laughs> man, being a repo man is fun. All right, Dad, I can put her down, buddy. All right. Nice and gentle, like. No, I had that button. I don't think I got that button inside. No, maybe I do. All right, we're gonna do this again. Pull up, I'm gonna direct you back, and then I'm gonna... Oh, we're gonna retow it? We're gonna, we're gonna retow it. Okay. You wanna see how fast we can hook it? Yeah, we're gonna do this. Hold on, hold on that way. Straight, straight, straight. You're right. Alright, if any Lexuses go missing in the area, don't don't come to us. It wasn't us. You ever want to be in this business, dude? You want to, should we start a repo business? I am. Look, watch this. Oh, so first of all, you hit the little switch thing on the side. You send the bad boy out. Once you got her hooked around right there. Oh yeah. Just a little. And then we out. We just go like that. Shoot. I do have a newfound respect for tow truck drivers though. Yeah, no, that's... That, like, how they don't just rip bumpers off of cars. They I don't mean, have I, hearts. I'm that's sure a lot of them do rip bumpers off of cars, but for those of you that can successfully not rip the bumper off of a car and but quickly can, get in there and tow a vehicle, yeah. Y'all can repo my car. Make sure it's y'all, the ones that don't rip the bumper off. Because I'm making my payments, so I'm going to get my car back. Well, I think, like, we're, we're qualified now, dude. So, Dedek's here to be Bryant's savior right now on getting this, uh pile of junk here running. We all visited Dedek's motorcycle junkyard the other day. So we've got the the investor himself here, Bryant. <laughs> Bryant, great hey, work on the bike, buddy. I know, it's a good investment, right? Yeah. I mean, I think we should tell everybody what you paid for. Like, let's, you know, let's give a realistic. That, that should, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot of prospective buyers on the YouTube channel, but let's, you know, we always talk about Wes's offer up deals. I think Bryant got really inspired and decided he was gonna go get his own <laughs> offer up deal. So he bought this beautiful now mind you he wasn't misled at all in this uh transaction here this beautiful 2005 yamaha what is it virago the virago, the virago 250 cc's of pure beastless that's like this thing is so brian shows up with this thing yesterday and he's like yeah man you know i got this bike i got it for a great deal uh, how much did the guy want for it? 300 something bucks? Yeah, like 350. 350. Bryant got it for what? 275? Yeah. Two with, with title. It does have a clean title. I'll give it that. That's like, well, allegedly. We haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Have you seen it? Yeah. All right. It is a clean. All right. So everything else we've been a little misled on. Brian's like, yeah, dude, it ran. It like runs fine. Then the next guy would ask him, like, Brian, does it run? He's like, yeah, it runs. Then the next guy asked him, Brian, does it run? He's like, kinda. And then I got here. And then, yeah. Well, we also noticed like it smelled very heavily of carb cleaner. And uh, yeah, so it had a dead battery. So we decided when Wes got here to jump it and it wouldn't fire to. up. So then we used the same trick that I think the guy used on Bryant and we sprayed some car cleaner on it and it idles. 
We also noticed there was no oil in it. So we have since gone and filled her up with some oil. I will say though, we have polished it up really nicely. Like this thing had a ton of pitting on it. Oh, by the way, it was also an indoor bike stored in a garage for years, but by garage the- Garage kept. Yeah, by the cracks in the tires and the seats and the pitting hey, and the weathering. No cracks. There's no cracks. I don't, I don't think this, <laughs> I think this thing's seen a lot well, of outdoor storage. Inflated the tires, all right? Yeah, so. We, uh, we actually went through with some Zephyrs polish and we polished up all the like chrome and or plastic chrome pieces on there and actually like shined the bike up you know, really I just nice. Got some of this too, some of that uh, scratch and swirl remover. Oh, there you go. You're gonna it, get the paint now? That's good stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look at, we even like got some of the wheel pitting out. Like the wheels are nice. I know, Rhino, you, you did look all at, that. Like, yeah. You failed to mention that you did all the polishing. Well, listen, you know, I don't want to take all the credit here, but we, we did put in some hours. I would like to get this chain guard polished up here. So I decided like, you know what, screw it. Let's polish this thing up last night before we even really got it running. Let's throw it back up on offer up. So we threw it back up on offer up for 1200 bucks. <laughs> and I've been getting blown up all day by everybody that wants it. There's at least 10 people interested really? in this thing. Yeah, for 1200 bucks. So here's the ad that we posted up. Is your life stuck in a slump? <laughs> yeah. This hog will have you drowning in it. This ain't no run of the mill 125. This is 250 cc's of pure Japanese American power. If your millimeter Peter won't get her off, have her sit on the back seat and let the rumble vibrate her to pure ecstasy. The second you throw your leg over this beast, you'll feel the mullet begin to grow. So grab a PBR of the closest woman you can find and come buy this thing. True Americans only, no commies. It won't last through the weekend. Don't lowball, I know what I got. You'd be surprised and how well we were getting blown up for people wanting to buy this thing. You know, it's just, we polished a turd last night, we Brian. actually did. Yeah, we polished a like turd. No now, if Denny can get this thing running, like, it's all mad. I might have screwed up by posting it too low. Talk about the throttle that doesn't really, uh, that sticks. Yeah, it's hey, hard to- take a look at this throttle body, or this uh, carb. What happens when I open it up? Oh yeah, it does nothing. Nothing. Brian got a little misled on this thing. Now at a $275 investment, like risk, you know, he's not in it that deep, but you don't want to go too deep in this thing. I would not keep this, being that who knows how long it ran without oil in it. So it's got a flap in the back, but it's also got this in the front. I mean, yeah, this, is, this is a 250. Is that yeah, that's real yeah, power. Right. Make it even faster? Yeah, yeah I think yeah, it would right. be charged extra for two flaps. It's got two flaps, yeah. bro. Double flap. Yeah, Chris, by the way, Getting that old tow truck all polished up, man. Great work, dude. Oh, oh that is. <laughs> she a little sticky? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's, ugh, dude. That's, yeah, I don't think, I don't think gas is supposed to be that sticky. What's that stuff called from the movie Venom that like crawls around and like infects people? Cause that's it. <laughs> Jeez. Should have, should have ordered a new carb there, buddy. Nah, we'll get her choo choo. All right, give her a shot, buddy. Let's see. Put a little bit. You gotta lube it up a little bit. That's a lot, man. You don't need that much. I'm just gonna... Reckless. <laughs> uh, see how you did. Woo! Dude, that's like a whole brand new bike, man. Look at that. Uh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Well, you, you know. I'm gonna have to raise the price to like three grand now. I know, right? Chris, I thought it'd be a lot more entertaining watching these guys put this thing back together. They've been trying to figure out where the missing hose goes for about an hour. We don't got that kind of time. We don't got that kind of time. No. Dedek, we're all on borrowed time, man. Find out where the hose goes. I'm looking, I'm looking. Chris is falling asleep over here in his chair. Well, she's uh, partially back together here. We're gonna see if this old battery we just found in the corner has any juice. Probably not. And blows up. Alright, turn the key on. All right, no juice. All right, let's uh, cut, cut. 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 Yeah, let's Good thing Wes's cables are nice and insulated here, so when they yep. touch, we ain't gonna blow nothing up. There we go, we got some power. All right, boys, fire her up. Sprayer. I got faith, Bryce, she wants to go, buddy. Yeah. Let me see the, uh... Oh, she's alive! Oh, she's alive! Let me see that long uh, Phillips. I don't think she's getting any fuel, buddy. Yeah, she's definitely not getting Yeah, we're just running on car cleaner. There ain't no fuel in her. Oh, we're just going for it now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no throttle. This thing actually, like, how long did it run for when you bought it? About like that. <laughs> <laughs> the exact amount of time it took for that to dry out. So, we gotta go through with the pet cock. Oh, oh, it's a little crusty? Yeah, I think that fuel filter's done there, buddy. Just cut it off. We don't need it. Yeah, no, no. We, we, don't, we don't need it. <laughs> nah. No, we're we're, worst case scenario, we'll put an inline filter. We're good. Not where we're going. Perfect. Fire her up. Yeah. Dude, honestly, it was probably just like water. That you because he it. knew it wasn't going to run off of it, and it was just all carb cleaner. <laughs> no, it was not water. <laughs> it was something. I don't know what this is. Come well, on, mister, used to build cafe racers. Yeah, but I've never built a <laughs> I have no clue what this is either. Virago, whatever. <laughs> oh, you never, you've never built the finest Virago there ever was? I'm it doesn't, a, it I'm doesn't a, look bad. I'm a Google bypassing that real quick. I mean, it you know, it looks good for whatever it's supposed to do here. Okay, we've confirmed we got fuel coming out of the petcock now, which is a big step. I don't think that was happening earlier. All right, boys, let's try it on its own fuel this time. Let's see if it fires up. Hold whoa, up. Whoa, 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 she's leaking. She's leaking. The hose isn't on. Yeah, it is. Okay, the pet cock leaks. Get her to fire up so it starts sucking some gas in. And then, you know, let it catch on fire? Yeah. Don't burn the tow truck up. Oh. Oh. Back away slowly. Oh, she's running. Oh. Boy. She's running. All right, take her for a rip, boys. Now we gotta let her warm up. Oh, right. okay. Well, we also don't have throttle cables hooked up, but that's not not I here. Know, that. <laughs> let it run. Let it run. Woo! Look at, look at the smile. Hey, look look at that. That it? Do we got a new oh, offer up king? A new offer up king oh, right no, here? Right there. Shoot. Wes is out. All right, guys. Well, that's as far as we're getting on uh, this thing today. Brian, are you hopeful now? Yeah, she's running on her own now. Yeah, we just ne need needs to be able to like give us some throttle. Hey, we're getting there. We're getting there. Strings, man, just strings. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, you get a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. Roll the outro. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Yeah.